Okay, this video is going to take you through creating a score table, adding default values and displaying it. Okay, so here's my boring old display score screen, just a green screen from the early tutorials. So let's set about doing this properly. Right, I'm in the high score display.cs module and this is where I'm going to create my score table and my defaults. Okay, so at the top, just above start high score display and after the line with the class game one in it, I'm going to create a high score and I'm going to call it score table. Uh, just going to leave it like that. Okay. Then I'm going to create a subroutine to make the default scores. So I'm going to call that default scores. So I'm just creating a blank subroutine. So I'll put void default scores. And then put an opening and closing brace. Let's just zoom that. See that a bit more clearly. Right, the first thing I need to do is generate the score table. So I just say new high score. Okay. Then I need to define how many scores I want in there. So I'm going to say score table dot maximum entries equals ten. I only want ten scores in my score table. If you want a hundred, put a hundred there. It's entirely up to you. Then I'm going to define my columns. Now we always start with the score column, so I'm going to say score table dot define column. I'm going to call it score. You can call it whatever you want, and then I have to put an example of the biggest item. So nine 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 is going to be my maximum score. Okay, and then I'm going to put a column in for the name, and my example is going to be X Y Z. So I'm just going to record three initials. Okay. Right, the next thing I need to do is create some default scores. I'm only going to do three. You can do ten if you want. If you've got a hundred, you can do a hundred. But I'm just going to do three. And we do that by creating a score entry. So I'll score oops, list object. And I'm going to call it score entry. Okay. Right. So this is going to be my score one. So I'll just put a little comment to myself. So I say score entry equals new and it should come up with this once you press space the picker should come up with list bracket object and then you put parentheses and then semicolon that just creates a score entry and then we can add the score to it so we can say score entry dot add and I'm going to put 10,000 as my top score make sure you don't put commas in there and then I'm going to add the name, and that's going to be HB. Okay, right, that creates the score. Now I need to add it to the table. So I can say score table dot add score score entry. Okay, so those four lines create a score and add it to the table. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it twice. Okay, so I've got score two, score three. And the only thing I need to change is the actual score. So I'm going to make the next one 9,000. And that's going to be um, another initial I use in the arcade. And the next one's going to be that. And I'm going to use another initial I use in the arcade. Okay, so that creates my three scores. That's it. Okay, that's all I need to do here now. What we're now going to do is make sure we go to Startup. Now, at the top of Startup is the subroutine setup tasks where we create our tile maps and our menus. Well, what we're going to put here is we're going to create one called Create High Scores. Okay, so it doesn't exist. So I'm going to right click and say Generate Method Stub, and it should just create it here. Now, the reason I'm creating is this, is because later on you're going to do more work loading loading the high scores and setting the table up that way. Okay, but for now we're just going to set up the default. So in here I'm just going to say uh, default, and it should find it, default scores. So I'm just going to run my default scores to start with. But later on in another video we'll do loading the scores from a disk. Okay, so we can persist our scores. Okay. Let's just F6 that to make sure we haven't done anything stupid. 
and it says down here, bottom left, build succeeded. Okay, so that's created the score table. Let's have a look at displaying it. So go back to high score display and find your start high score subroutine. Okay, here's mine. Um, I've set my event so that it takes 100 seconds to switch back to the title screen so that it doesn't mess up. Uh, and before I set that event, I'm just going to say show scores. So I'm going to create a subroutine, show scores. doesn't exist, so I right click on it and say generate method stub. Okay, I'll delete that line because I don't want it. Right, we're gonna, I'm going to show you the simple way of displaying the scores, and that's to get formatted text, okay, and display them as sprite text. So we're going to use the text manager, and we're going to say draw as sprites. And if you're using Engine 11, you can use this method. If not, you'll have to create a text store. So upgrade your engine. So I'm going to use my Gradius font. Gradius. And the text I'm going to display. I want to display the rank. So I'm going to say rank with a space plus, And then I'm going to ask the high score table. So score table. Dot. And I'm going to say get column heading strings which is a bit of a mouthful but it's going to give me the names I gave to everything and it wants a delimiter and a delimiter is just what goes in between the columns Okay, so I've put a space there after rank and I'm going to have a space in between score and name ok, right that's getting rather long so when I press comma I'm going to press enter to go on to the next line down now the next piece of information I want is the position I want to display it. Now I'm going to set this at 200 and the Y position, you can see it's trying to help me there, the Y position, uh, let's put it at 50. Okay, text attributes, I'm just going to use, I'm going to create one I think, so I'm going to call it TA score head and I'll have to create it in a second. Uh, the Z position, let's just put a thousand and we don't want any attributes. Okay, so to stop that moaning, I'm going to create just above this subroutine my text attribute TA score head and that's going to be a new text attribute and I'm going to make it scale 2, kerning 2, color dot, let's have red. Okay, and the alignment will set to align. Oh, let's just use top left to um, keep it simple. Okay, I'm going to create another one while I'm here to do the score detail. I'm going to call it score detail. I'm just going to display that in. I better not use a lot. I was going to use line, but I know my background's that color. So let's just have white. But the same scale. Okay, right. We've actually got some of that will run, so let's just run that and see if it actually makes sense. So let me just show you that line again. Just kind of back a bit. So we've got draw sprites, the font, rank plus the rest of the column headings, at 200x, 50y, using that attribute score red. We layer 1000 let's just see if that works so it's f5 to run it hopefully it'll work so we get a nice horrible red on a green background there you go i'm going to move it across a bit because it needs to go left a little bit so let's do it at i think about 100 let's run that again okay and then i'm going to show you how to show the actual score entries yeah that'll do me it's not perfect but it'll do for this example Right, so that does the heading, let's do the body. Now we're going to do a loop, so we're going to do a for loop. If you type for and press tab twice, it will build the loop for you. It's now highlighted the I, now I'm going to rename that to position. So if I just type over that, it will magically, when I press tab, reset all that. And the length, now we're going to ask the score table how long it is. So we're going to say score table dot entries. That tells us how many there are. So it's, there you go. There's a for loop without much typing. Just a couple of tabs and so on. But you can type that out if you want to do that. Now, 
I'm going to use this again text manager draw as sprites so we're going to say text manager dot draw as sprites I'm going to use the same font try and be consistent with your fonts now the text I'm going to display this time let me just move it to the other description is going to be from the score table again and I'm going to get the row string rank so that's going to give me the rank the position plus the score and the name for a particular row so if I just select that and it'll want to know in brackets what row now the row is going to be whatever position around the loop we are so we're going to put position and then we want a delimiter of space so we keep it the same gap as we did before right I'm going to carry on on the next line down that's been stupid um, right, so I want the X position. Now I want it all to line up, so I'm going to use the same number as I used when I put the headings up, so I'm using 100. Now the Y position, I want it to start at 100, so the first one is there, but I want the subsequent ones to be lower down each time. So I'm going to then say position times, uh, pos yeah, position times, and then the spacing. So I'm going to make them every 50 pixels we'll have to see how that looks okay so all that does is says a hundred plus right the first time around I position is naught so 50 times naught is not going to be anything so the first one's going to be a hundred the next time around position is going to be one so it'll be a hundred and fifty and so on and so on right the text attribute I'm going to use is text score detail okay Z position just put a thousand again and then no sprite attribute okay Right, that should be actually all of it done. So let's just run that and see what happens, see how it looks. It's probably going to look awful. Ah, there you go. So there's three scores in there. And it's all displayed and lined up. Okay. Make sure you don't go over your maximum score width. It won't stop you putting scores in that are bigger. So if you need to change that, change the default subroutine to say that the example's bigger. Okay, and that is it.